Welcome back to Kid Icarus of Myths and Monsters. The let's play that nobody asked for, but everybody deserved. Uh, here we are in uh, the third world. Um, the next vertically oriented world here. Can we all just take a minute just to appreciate this music? Just to appreciate that somebody decided to put insane circus crazy sounds in the middle of our game ostensibly about Greek mythology. Ooh, am I going to survive this? I might use my bottle. I might need to use my bottle. Come on, Pit. Oh, taking a lot of stupid damage here. This would be much better if I had my uh, fireballs, but of course I don't have like any health. Hopefully I find a spa pretty quickly after this, or at least some statues with some health in it. We're going to start breaking statues in this level, because I really don't want to die and lose any weapons. Oh, make it pit! Oh, thank goodness. So now we should get the bow, which is, should require three blocks and should pierce monsters, I think. At least three, okay. Um, yeah, let's try to take this as carefully as we possibly can here. Well, that wasn't careful. That wasn't careful at all. Please be a spa. Or a shop. I could buy some health. It's it's bats. Guys, it's bats. Bats might drop health, though. Sometimes bats drop health. Let's just, uh... Let's just hope we get lucky, that's all. Let's just hope we get some bats. You know. You know the good old bat health? How you just drink the blood straight out of bat creatures that you kill? In the darkness? The darkness of eternity? The darkness that consumes us all? No? No? Okay, well that, that bat gets to live then. Um, so my next plan, I guess, is statues. Which, so far, so good, I guess. Ugh. I don't want to go advance up too much, because I don't want to miss doorways. Oh, that wasn't kind of fair. That was, uh... They all ganged up on me. You know what else I like about this game compared to the NES version? Much fewer Grim Reapers. I mean, there's one right there. That's the first one we've seen in a long time, though. But yeah, those guys are so obnoxious in Kid Icarus. Remember, they make that dumb sound and that horrible music? Mmm, lovely. A shop. Lovelier. Um, yeah, let's buy some health and get my fireballs, at least. Oh, can I advance the shop by pushing down? Is that what happened there? Hold on. Oh, nice! I didn't know you could do that. That's amazing! Yeah, now my shots go all the way across the screen. So I'm much, much more powerful than I was. And that Grim Reaper vanished. I don't know why he vanished. I'm not going to question it. I'm just going to accept it. Oh, there's the next door right there. Well, I started killing monsters because I thought that would be a good thing to do. Mmm, pots. One of these days I want to win one of these pot rooms. Wait, why can't I... I can't break that pot. Why not? Because I don't have any hearts. You need hearts to break pots, and I'm out of hearts. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I figured it out. At first I was like, was it because my fireballs are like making my shots go into the ceiling and there's no pots on the ceiling? Does Pit do a lot of pot? Like, uh... Who knows? He's not... Uh, oh, it's a shop. Well, now that I know I can do this, that's pretty cool, but I don't have any more money. I was just in a shop. These spikes look just like the spikes, like, they look like Mega Man spikes. Those weird spurs in, like, Bubble Man's level from whatever Mega Man game Bubble Man was in. Somebody's going to think I'm being serious. Somebody's going to leave a comment saying, How do you not know Bubble Man's in Mega Man 2? I do know, guys. I just... Oh, he's going to give me strength. I love you. I love you. I love you. You beautiful, beautiful man. The Heavenly Father has bestowed upon us the gift of bow and arrow. Actually, just the gift of arrow. I had to supply my own bow. That's a wacky looking jump right there. Wow, did you see that mess? 
All right, I could use another health block. Am I not due for another health block yet? Do I have another health block in my future at all? I hope so. Sure would be nice. Here's a door. Oh, there's two doors. Oh, it's bats. You know what? I need the hearts. I need lots of hearts, so... I mean, we're gonna miss out on a bunch of hearts, because I'm not collecting them diligently enough, but... And now my shots are short range again. Dang it! Darn it! What do we got here? I will buy a hammer from you. Fare thee well, crazy helmet lady. She's like wearing this crazy looking helmet. That's not racist. It's racist against helmets, I guess. Any doors? No? Looks like this is the only way up. Here's a door. Pots! Wow, it costs five hearts to break a pot? Okay. Okay, hammer. I like hammers. I like hammers a lot. <gasps> oh, we got three more pots. Let's break that one. <gasps> oh, can we do it? Yes, we did it! Oh, I can't believe it. Oh, what do we get? We get another bottle. I already had a bottle. We got a thing that I already had. My reward was super redundant, and I can't go that way because there's a spur on top of that door. Ooh, I thought those were fall-through platforms, but they're not. I gotta go up and over them. That's fair. I, I just can't get over this music. One of the things I like about the original Kid Icarus better than this game is I think the music is a lot better. But this particular song is like just crazy circus weirdness. And I, I'm into it. I'm just gonna be honest. I can do it. Crazy circus weirdness makes sense in the context of just the silly monsters we get in Kid Icarus. The, the, the weird feet and the rotating panels and the just all the nonsensical stuff in this game. The circus music fits. Nice. And when you do fight Grim Reapers, they're a lot easier to kill. They're not the horror shows that they are in the NES version. Just a nicer version of Kid Icarus. It's basically just if the NES version was a nicer game. That's what we got going on here. This jump here doesn't look nice. Oh, but we made it. So it's over here in this... I didn't make it to that door. I didn't make it to that... Okay, okay. It's okay. It's okay. Um, we just gotta go this way, that's all. Aha! So what else... Oh, I can't change the context of the black... Or the uh, contents of the black market. You know what? I can never afford the stuff in the black market anyway, so... Oh, now we got enemies with projectiles. We're moving up in the world. Very slightly. Is everybody else in agreement with me that Dark Pit is a stupid character? Again, I, did, I didn't play Uprising, and I probably never will, but... Like, it, 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 is that just the truth? Is Dark Pit just a ridiculously stupid character, and we don't need Dark Pit? Can we just... Are we all on the same page here? I mean, Of Myths and Monsters doesn't have Dark Pit, and it's a perfectly fine game. Unless he's like a secret boss or something that I don't know how to unlock. More bats? Okay. At this point, I just gotta make sure that I get as much strength as possible. Although the hearts will help if I have to buy some health in the dungeon coming up. I'm not even at the dungeon level. I'm only in 3-2. I don't know why I'm worrying about the dungeon yet. The dungeon is still ahead of me! Yeah. Ah. Alright, so we want to go left from here to get in that door. Okay, I can't make that. Um, can I kind of go down and around? How am I supposed to... Uh, oh. Go under. Aha! We had to use science. Oh, and I'm getting more strength. God bless you, Heavenly Father. Hook me up. Look at... Oh, we got seven arrows. I think eight is the max, because it doesn't look like there's more room on the uh, status screen for more arrows beyond eight. We might not get to 8, though. Unless we get one more strength upgrade in the next level. We might not get to 8. We might have to finish the game with 7, which might be okay. I might be okay finishing with 7. That might be fine. I really want to not get hit, though, because I love having this full-screen bullet. 
bullet. Yeah, he shoots bullets out of his, uh, out of his bow. Can I get a health block? Ah, oh, yes! Heavenly Father, you're just, you're just killing it today. Everything I want on my plate, you are providing for me. Okay. Whoa. I kind of want to get some health going here. Because I want to get my level 4 attack. So forgive me if I waste a bunch of hammers trying to get something happening here. Also forgive me if I jump into spikes. Because that's going to happen from time to time, I'm not going to lie. You know what? I'm just going to buy it. Oh, it's the rotating barrier. That's right. Okay, so we... We got the full screen piercing shot, we got the fireballs coming off, and then we got the rotating barrier. So it'll be a lot easier to preserve our health now, but still, one hit, we lose the barrier. So we've turned Pit into Sonic the Hedgehog, essentially, is what we've done here. We've given him the bubble shield. Um, we've got some lag happening here. Wow, just a little bit, though. Just a little bit. That was a waste of time. We'll get up to this gumball. Mm, barrier took that fool out, but he dropped his heart in a wall. This is some crazy level design right here, yo. And we lost the barrier already, and I fell as well. Okay. You know what? You know what? Operation Be More Careful is now in effect. We gotta go up and over here, don't we? We do. Whoop. whoop de doo Risk poison in the first big lake to reveal a spring. Um, that sounds dumb. To jump into a poison lake to get a hot spring, because why would you even? Pfft, that spike tasted delicious. That was one of those uh, spicy buffalo spikes. Um, highly recommended. You know, if you're going to eat a spike sometime, try the spicy buffalo. Is that platform coming back? There it is, yeah. Like, the full width of the level, I don't think, is much wider than, like, uh... Maybe two screens. But keep in mind that the Game Boy has less real estate than the NES did. So in terms of an NES game, uh, each level is probably only one screen wide. Can we get a real item this time? Hammer? No, we got a skull sperm. Boo! Boo, skull sperm! Alright, there's my platform. And it's coming back now. Okay. This is just a wacky ride the platforms around level. Just gotta be careful that we don't accidentally platform into some spikes! Oh, well, I mean, yes, we're going this way. For show. Oh! There's my level 8 that I can't get. I didn't kill enough monsters. I should have went bat hunting. I don't feel like I missed any doors, though. Maybe I did. Maybe I wasn't being careful enough, and maybe I did miss a door. So we do have to go up and around for this one. Because otherwise that jump across the little poison lake was not going to happen. Ah, shop. I ain't got no... You know what? Where am I, hammer? Might as well. We only had a couple bucks. Uh, you know what? I shouldn't have bought hammers. I should have saved some hearts in case I find another uh, pot room. Because the hammers in the pot room are only five hearts if you find a pot with a hammer in it. Ooh, that's a tight jump. Woo, that's kind of a tight jump, too. Oh, uh, let's go. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, okay, so... Oh, there's a feather up there. I see. I see now. I was going to say, I can't make that jump. Start looking around for a feather. Beautiful. It's a pot room. Hammer. Heart. Another heart. Let's get up there and get that one before it disappears. Nice. Another heart. <gasps> oh, wait, wait, which one? Okay, I think I'm in the same room as I was in last time. So I went this way? Yes, we did it again! It's a key. I don't know what that means, but I have one of them. I don't know what that... Oh, you know, I think it means I can open a door that's been locked. Oh, okay. Um, 
I kind of want to go down and try to train again then, but I forget which door that was. Was that one room ago or two rooms ago? I don't remember now. You know what? We'll save it. We'll see if we can put it to use later on. Uh, what's up here? Maybe in that door? That's- that flying animation is creepy. I'm sorry, Pit. Whatever you were doing there wasn't working for me. Eh, well, I don't want to use a key on this door. I wanted to try to train one more time is what I wanted to do. But- Oh! Fine. I'll just get a couple of free hammers. That's okay. Bats. It's bat country. That reference again. I'm sorry, but I don't... Don't even remember what movie it's from, and I wasn't a fan of the movie when I watched it, and I know a bunch of commenters are going to go crazy. I didn't mean to do that. I just wasted my key on the bat country door. Whatever, let's get some more hearts. Why not? Didn't mean to do that. I wanted to try to train one more time. Oh well. We can make that. We can make that. Okay. Oh, I can't shoot because I'm like technically inside that cloud. Well, these guys aren't doing me any favors. See you later, Grim Reaper. Alright, so that's to be the very top of Skyland, which means we're going to the Skyland Dungeon, which is enormous, but it's okay, because I has a map. Let me just look at the map a little bit. So I don't have a map of the dungeon, but imagine it's shaped kind of like two triangles stacked one on top of another, and I'm at the top of the top triangle, and i got to go to the bottom right corner of the bottom triangle. So let's see. I see the path I need to take. So right down left. We'll start with that, and then we'll revisit. Nice. Right, then down. Then left. We got spiders happening. Nope. We're gonna de-spider this room. And then I think down again. Yes, down again. Uh-huh. Man, I love the barrier here. Now, from here I go right, then down, then left, then down, then down. So that's right. Sorry, fire guys, but I got all the upgrades, so I'm the man. These guys are a lot more palatable, too. So left. And, oh. I hope I didn't lose myself here. Uh, I think I go down that ladder down there. Oh, yeah, we're fine. We're still fine. Down here. And then what should this look like, then? I should be able to go straight down again. And then... We do have eggplants coming up eventually, I think. Oh. I can't go this way. Okay, no, I, I do remember this. We have to go up here. Um... I'm all turned around. Okay, okay, because here, let me explain what I think I need to do here. I need to go through this little hole, but I can't, like, in the NES version, you can kind of crawl through little holes like that, but not in this version. So. Left. Oh, there's eggplants right here. Okay, see, I got turned into an eggplant. Come on. Thank you. Now, now that I'm an eggplant, I can go through here. And what do I do? Oh, snakes fell on my head. Oh, that's too bad. We're going to go right, and then up. And that's the nurse's station. Beautiful, beautiful. Now we'll go left, not left, right, in this room. And it's a spa. 
and that's wonderful. And then... If we go down twice, it's another eggplant room, so I gotta be careful. I gotta be careful in the eggplant room. I do not want to get re-eggplanted. I'll have to retrace my steps, and that would be awful. Actually, I don't have to go to the eggplant room. I can go right here. And then down, and that should take me directly to the boss. Glorious! A boss fight exists. And if I'm really lucky, I'll be able to keep hitting him from across the screen like this. If I'm really good, and I write to Santa Claus... Yeah. And I can keep hitting him full screen. Uh-oh. I mean, the barrier's gone, but the barrier wasn't being super helpful in this fight anyway. And remember, bosses only have 30, 17,000 hit... 30, 17? Is that really what I just said? Yeah, 30, 17,000. I wish I'd have said that on stream. That would have become a new Twitch meme in my chat, I'm sure. 30, 17,000 would be the new thing people would start saying. That just means a big number. Man, I fought this boss in my test play yesterday. And I didn't have... Uh, the long-range bow and arrow, and oh my god, this boss was such a pain. But look at this. There's nothing happening here. It's just me and his stupid face. I don't think he's even going to hit me again. A little bit of a... A little bit of weaponry goes a long way in this game. Wow, that fight was pretty quick compared to how I did it yesterday. Guys, we got just the last level to go. So we're going to save it. Uh-oh. It's the goddess Palutina. I did. You're training. Piece of cake. Oh, oh, I didn't meet all the expectations. She's only going to give you the wings. Probably because I'm not high enough level. <laughs> but see, we can get those other two treasures... Uh, in the level. We can get all the weapons that we weren't able to equip. But with the wings, I'm allowed to fly. Which is really nice. Oh wait, this is awful. Something to... She had... Her premonition is coming true! Satan has made it! Oh, not Satan. Orcos. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Not Satan. Easy to, con to uh, confuse the two because they're so similar looking. They both have terrible posture. Look at that! Look how he's all hunched over. Mm -mm. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. I'm coming. I'm coming home, Slice. Yeah. We're, we're, we're going to go get him. Tomorrow. We're, we're going to go get him tomorrow. Shoutouts to Gordalot for sponsoring this video, and to everyone who makes this channel possible by supporting me on Patreon.